my friends and welcome back to EVE Online with me Mark from DadX and here we are today with our new Amar alt Kedoka Shuri and we're about to start on the career missions which are basically the detailed extended tutorial part of EVE looking at various aspects of the game in more detail to help you get going and we're going to start looking at those right here today I'm not going to take you through every single career mission that's not necessary you've got your own brain what we are going to do, I'm just going to reiterate, that's the fitting we've got on the ship. We've got the two lasers and the afterburner from the tutorial. I just gave my ship a little clean there, which you can do in the fitting screen. My role here, I think, is to point out some of the general principles rather than to go into too much detail at this stage. And particularly to point out the missions that, that work in slightly different way and also just to the different ways of doing the missions now as you see i've done some skill training it's been a couple of days since i did the new player experience kind of that introduction so i have learned up a few skills just to level two as you can see there the only one i've taken to level three is a mar frigate i will talk about the skills and their relevance as they're relevant to the game again i just don't want to inundate you new guys with too much stuff because your brain will explode You'll find links down in the description below to various guides to the basics of aspects of the game. I'm soon going to do one on the skill tree, which is right here, and on ship fitting. Any specific questions, feel free to leave a comment below or catch us on the Discord and ask us in there. We're all very friendly and nice. Anyway, let's get on with these missions. Over here on the right on the station services screen, we have the tab for agents and here are listed the career agents. So we're going to click on the first guy. I have opened this tab. That's why it says the mission is offered, but uh, that's fine. You can have a look at his mission. It is timed once you've accepted it, as it says in the description. So if we do this guy's mission, this is the first of the business missions. There are 10 of them. This is in effect a distribution mission. The full description is over there on the left hand side. I'll leave you to read through that. The most relevant bit is the red bit. Do check the mission at least for the red section. It will remind you of the most vital part of the mission. They're very handy and they're a very new addition. I'm sure they weren't in these mission screens last time I ran this through, which is probably about a year ago now. Anyway, we need to do this mission, which is to take from where we are to our Baz next door, this batch of data sheets. That seems simple enough. All we've got to remember, as the mission is telling us, is to put the data sheets into our ship before we leave. When we achieve the mission, we'll get about 260,000 ISK. There is a bonus of 274,000 ISK for completing the mission within six hours, which is definitely worth doing. We do have to pay a collateral charge. That's kind of our security for carrying the cargo. In game, when you're actually doing something for a player, he's going to want you to pay some kind of security to make sure that you're not just going to pick up the cargo and run away with it because there'd be no way in game for him to get that back once you've done that. So he needs to take those steps before he lets you wander off. And that's what that collateral charge represents. It only features in this kind of distribution type mission. Right here on the mission screen, if we right click on the destination, we, we can set the destination right there and that is to the station. That we need to go to not just the system and you can see that's marked over there on the left as a waypoint and that's a handy way to check how far you're going to have to go before you even accepted the mission i advise you do that as i said if you're going to need to log out you don't have time that's when the mission timer may run out and we've accepted that mission so we're going to go and do that but while we're going out what i'm going to do here is stack the missions you can stack missions at the same time it's very handy it saves a lot of the toing and throwing to hand in a mission and collect the next mission and go back out. It saves things getting a little bit too uh, Preston Garvey, if you know what I mean. So let's have a look at the uh, military career mission from the agent right here. And with regards to the time limit for the bonus, it's never going to be the mission that's going to push you over that time limit. Basically, just don't accept a mission if you haven't got time to do it. If you're going to do it and then maybe log off or get sidetracked with something else, that's the only way that bonus time is going to run out realistically. So this is the first of the military career missions. It's a simple go and kill the baddies mission in the system that we're in. The red text tells us that we're going to have to close range to kill the enemy. That's fine. We've got our afterburner to do that. And the rewards for the mission are going to be one beam laser and three multi-frequency crystals, which are basically ammo. Now, because we're given um, some good lasers in the introduction sequence now, the rewards here are, are not what they were. They were supposed to be the first proper guns you got in the game. 
and uh, you'd actually do that mission just with a, a really basic weapon that well that civilian laser so we're going to go straight through that one the mission we've got right here which is the first of the advanced military missions again is right here in this system it's simply go and kill the rats maybe a little bit tougher than the other rats but we'll still have no problems doing it they're not they're more complicated in some cases than advanced those missions and then here we've got the first industry mission which is to go and do some mining now the red text again new edition wonderful new edition thanks ccp tells us we have to mine the right asteroid so the mission will guide us to a belt a special belt for the mission with a special asteroid and only the special ore from that asteroid will achieve this mission um, it wasn't clear before and people would be mining the wrong asteroid shouting in the help channel or buying it on the market which is a viable shortcut for some of these missions as I shall show you so we're going to go out we're going to mine we've been given a minor one module for accepting that mining mission so we're going to fit that on the ship before we go out we're going to do all of these missions at once or on at least in one trip out if you see what I mean we've got to go one jump to drop off these data documents which we're going to move from our item hanger into our ship hold there you go that's done now we're going to fit the mining laser onto our ship and we're going to do that right here in the fitting screen we're simply going to drag the ammo and then the laser from its slot into the ship's hold in this case just so it's handy and we know where it is we can't lose track of it then and then we're going to go back into the item hanger right click fit to active ship you could also just drag that icon onto the ship on the fitting screen so we are now fully equipped we've only got one laser that will be plenty i assure you we've got our afterburner which the mission suggested didn't it that we would need to close speed on the enemy we can click the undock button right over here now all of the missions we've accepted are rowed down there on the left hand side of the screen all the information is available now at any point we could have undocked using the button on the station screen on the right that is always an option Eve has many, many options to do most things, and it's really a question of you finding the one that suits you. We'll look at them as we go along. Right, so I just need to check here, because we've stacked our missions, that we've got the right mission selected. We're going to drop off those data documents first. So that was the first business mission. So we've already set the destination, so that button's not active. So over here on our overview, the system is highlighted with the yellow icon. That means we've already set that as our destination. So we just press the jump button and the game will do the rest. Now, just to save a little bit of time, I'm going to save the flying unless something relevant is going on. So I sh so many jumps in the footage will just be of me flying. There is an autopilot button down here. It hasn't mentioned it in the game so far. And I am so pleased. Not even in the introduction does it mention autopilot. There is an autopilot button there. Don't use it. It's a lazy way of doing things. Ask anyone in game chat why you don't. Basically, it's slow and it leaves you vulnerable. I'm not going to talk about it. It would take up half the video. Don't use autopilot until you're comfortable and you know exactly how it works. That's all I'm going to say. And I'd just like to mention that um, for you new players, my overview is set up differently from yours. It will make absolutely no difference to the contents of this video and what you can see and what I can see up there. We'll reset my overview for the next video. For instance, right here on your overview, you've got all those ships showing with blue icons on my screen up on your overview. They're the police and Concord ships that hang around all the gates. If you've been very naughty in game and got yourself a low security status, the cops might try to kill you. If you've run a lot of missions and have upset one of the factions, then uh, just their navy may try to kill you. That's covered in the missions video, which is one of the links down below. Anyway, the autopilot has taken us straight through that gate. In the next system, we just have to click up there on the dock icon for the station. It's already pre-selected on the overview. As long as you don't click anything else on the overview during your journey, whatever you're heading for will stay the selected point. So you just need to click... The, the warp to or dock button along the way on your journey and you will get there this is a much better way of doing things than using autopilot i assure you so we're just warping straight into the station where we've got to drop these documents off and we're done docking up at the station as we arrive will be automatic once we get within docking range sometimes it will delay a little bit you can click on the button try and speed things along 
There are, of course, all those mission-specific buttons over on the left-hand side of the screen that you can use for these things rather than the icons over on the right-hand side of the screen. I'll leave that down to you, really. So we simply click on the Start Conversation button right there and complete mission. We don't have to manually take the cargo out of our cargo hold for that bit. And our ISK is paid straight into our wallet as you saw by the alert up there on the left hand side of the screen. Up on the right hand side I'm going to click on the inventory tab just to check that we've got the right stuff that we want handy in the cargo hold. That's all good. You can alternatively just right click on the ship, find all this drop down menu stuff. There's open cargo hold right there. There's an icon when you're out in space to open your cargo hold or you can simply press Control c to open your inventory window. If you're in space, it'll be your ship cargo hold. If you're in a station, it will be your inventory window. So we're just gonna undock. We need to head back to Deepari, our little home system for now, so we can do the other three missions. So exactly the same thing again, make sure, well, we can select any of the three missions we've got over here. They're all in the same system. So we'll just set destination and then we'll just click out warp to button and we're off. I'll see you in Deepari. We're just jumping back through the gate in the Deepari. These jump animations, they're quite new. I like those quite a lot. So we just need to warp to location. This is cash flow for Capsuleers, one of 10. This is the first military mission. We can get the information up for the mission at any time right here. We can just double check what we need to do. We need to just take out the rats that are up there. And it's warning us that we're gonna to need to close range. So we've got our afterburner ready, fantastic. I have sped the footage up to 150% speed right now just to move things along. You're not going to miss anything, I assure you. So we're just going to warp up onto the location. So there's two rats waiting for us up here, naughty pirate ships that need taking down. So we're going to double click on one to approach. We're going to control click to lock and then we're going to right click and we're going to set an orbit. Let's see, at 5,000 meters will be nice for our weapons. Don't need to get in closer than that. Up at the top of the screen, if you right click on the orbit icon, you can set your default orbit. So I'm going to change mine to 5,000 meters. That seems kind of appropriate. It can save you a little bit of clicking, especially when you know what your weapon ranges are and where you want to be. And as you see, we'll have no trouble taking this guy down. We've got much better guns due to the change to the introduction than we normally would have for this mission. So uh, I've no fears here at all. And we're just going to repeat this with each rat here. And that was the game's telling me there, they're currently outside my locking range. That range will improve with skill training, as we'll see another day. So, as the game said, as the mission warned us, we need to approach the enemies. They're not, gonna, they're not aggressive enough to come to us. On some mission locations, everything will be coming at you. But the game does start you quite nice and sensibly and gently. If you want to get this kind of panoramic view with no UI whatsoever, that's Control F9. I use it for screenshots, thumbnails, etc, etc. This is all very straightforward now. I'm going to speed this up to two times speed to move things along. It's entirely up to you whether you want to fly to each wreck. That one's showing as empty, as it says right there. Some of the wrecks will have loot in them. If you want to go over there and check them out, it can be worthwhile. At this stage of the game, it probably won't have much value at all, but you can get lucky. I did have a 3.5 million isk drop from one of the rats in the tutorial missions um, the last time I started an alpha, so that was quite nice. So it can happen, but all that loot, it can be rare. Very nice environment up here. It's worth going up to some sites sometimes just to see what they look like. Anyway, we'll just get on with killing these guys. Got time for a little bit of sightseeing. As you can see, we're taking a little bit of damage to our shields, which, as you'll have learned in the introduction, is the uh, the bars down on the top half of the the circle in the bottom center of the screen. That's where we're keeping track of our shield, our armor, and our hull. But we're certainly not going to be taking any kind of worrying amount of damage. I think you'd only really be able to go wrong on these missions. They're all dead. I'm checking the loot, but there's none to be picked up. I think you'd probably only die on one of these missions if you just walked away and your ship wasn't moving. Uh, when your ship's stationary, you'll take more damage simply because you're easier to hit. As long as you're moving around and you're shooting at them, as I said, with these nice guns that the game's given us. The rats at this stage don't stand much of a chance and it won't be too long until we are, in fact, in the next episode looking at these career missions, we'll already be building ourselves quite a nice ship, I should think. Right, we're all done here. We simply warp over to the next mission location. 
which is the first of the advanced military missions and our rewards will total about 230,000 isk as we're going to complete this well inside the time limit. Now this mission has an acceleration gate. That basically means we need to get within two and a half thousand meters of the gate and then activate it. So we've had two different type of what in game are called combat sites here. The first one you just walked straight up to. This one is gated. In some cases you'll need a key or a token to uh, activate a gate in a mission or a site. But certainly not in any of these missions unless there's a new mission. These career missions I'm sure may well get an update at some stage soon. I'll ask the devs in the discord that we can chat in. Uh, I know they put some effort into the introduction. But that has actually left the uh, the balance then into these missions a little bit askew, as I said, because we're a little bit more well equipped than they, they were designed for us to be. So you can see these guys are going down very quickly. All the wrecks are empty. Next wave spawns. No problem whatsoever. If you look at the links below, I've done guides to doing the missions. I've done guides to doing some of the lower level sites in cheap ships. They do require a little bit more care, a little bit more tactics. But these missions, just take them easy, get in close, kill them. Uh, your, your laser will melt them. Once we haven't got to have the miner on to save time, and we've got two lasers on, we're going to kill things, obviously, pretty much in twice the speed. Half the time. So uh, it can only get better. We did pick up a piece of armour introduction section, but I haven't got that fitted on the ship. As you've seen, we've got nowhere near getting into our armour. We're taking very little damage. And I don't want my ship, until I tell you how to build a proper ship, or show you how to build a proper ship, I should say, I don't want my ship to be any better than the one that any of you would be in when you're doing what I'm doing. So we finished that mission. We've now warped to our final mission location, a bit of mining. So what we've got to do, you'll never guess what we've got to do. We've got to approach the asteroid, we will then orbit the asteroid, and then we will shoot the asteroid. The difference being that we're going to shoot it with our mining laser, there he is, bright and blue and not our guns but it's the same principle to be fair and when each cycle on the mining laser completes the ore is transferred into the cargo hold of our ship so long as you've stayed within your mining lasers range which with this civilian model is 10 kilometers and we're all asteroid at five so nothing can go wrong there right the ore will appear in here there you go when our cycle is completed now one cycle 460 cubic meters of veldspar which is just under half of what we need it's time to do our first mathematics in eve so two times that is going to be 920 so we'll be 80 cubic meters short of what we need the thousand cubic meters for the mission after two whole cycles so i'm going to show you a little trick i'm going to let the mining laser cycle for its two just as it is there and we know we need about a fifth of a cycle more to get the thousand so if we just get it going again oh i double clicked it there first try cut it off about there there you go that's just over what we need to complete the mission the mission information screen over on the left has told us to go and dock we'll do that and we can hand in all four of these missions in one go and we've saved ourselves a reasonable chunk of time by bringing all those missions out at once and not having to go back and forth. It's entirely up to you. If you want to run through all the business missions in sequence, all the military missions in sequence, etc, etc, that is absolutely your choice. If you click on the mining video down below, one of the things that will also tell you is how to use that compare screen for your modules. But I will go into more detail on modules and how to assess them and use them and fit them to your ship in the next video because in that one we will have a, a proper ship as it were to start fitting and once we've got that we will power through these missions I can assure you. I'll show you a nice fit we'll have more than enough money for that will not only get us through these missions very very quickly it will also stand us in good stead for our first steps into the game proper. Anyway just going to hand in all these missions, collect all the money, although obviously we'd handed in one remotely, the distribution mission, and as you'll see in the next episode, some of the missions involve us getting ships as rewards or as part of the mission, so uh, we'll be looking at how to fit those up and use those properly very, very soon, so please leave us a like if you've liked it, any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below, join us in the Discord, Leave your questions there, we'll be more than happy to help you out. Subscribe and click that notification bell if you want to know when the next video has been published. We'd really appreciate that and it really helps the channel to grow and develop.
But for now, guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Enjoy your eve. Take your time. Fly safe. And for now, goodbye.